me show you how to find the key of the singer. Hello. So I'll show you how to find the key of the singer. Um, any singer. I'm just going to show you how to find the key. Fastest way. So um, we're going to go through some basics. Uh, we're going to go through some basics on music. You know, uh, music will have 12 keys. Yeah, the will have 12 keys. So um, starting from C, you have your C, C sharp D, D sharp D, F, F sharp G, G sharp D, E sharp B. So you have 12 keys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 keys in total. Now, um, now, no matter the key you're playing, if you're playing on F sharp, you're playing on F sharp. If you're playing on B, uh, any key you're playing, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, first things first, know where your 12 keys are located on the keyboard. So, you have on single notes first, you have your C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, F sharp G, G sharp A, E sharp A, you have B. Now, the easiest way to know where you can locate key C is where you have two black keys, you have C. C is the white key before it. Where you have three black keys, you have F. So, you see C, C, two black keys, C, two black keys, C. Very easy. So, you can start counting from there C, C sharp D, D sharp F. Um, C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, G, F sharp G, G sharp A, A sharp B. No, this is, um, this is, um, this is, you've already passed this level of, of uh, you know, finding the key, of, of identifying the keys on the keyboard. I'm just doing this to refresh your memory, you understand? Now, let's go straight to the beats next. When you hear a song for the first time and, uh, uh, okay, let's say you hear a song and you don't know the key of the singer. Now, once you understand finding the key, of a song is that most songs end on their one on their roots most songs end on their roots that is your chord one that is your do if you're playing on f for example you have your one which is your f major scale you have one two three four five six seven eight so you now have a uh, uh okay uh do re mi fa so la ti do but let me not get you confused. So let's stick on the key first before I come there. So if you have 12 keys first. Now if somebody sing a song and say, okay, um, what you have to do next thing is you pick out the word. You have to pick, listen to the song and know when the singer is going to end the song. The last word of the singer, what is that last word of the singer? So you pick the last word. For example, if, I, if I'm going to sing, and I will praise and lift you high. El Shaddai, you listen, the last word I, I pronounce of die, so you pick that word, die, that the singer pronounced, make sure you memorize the way it sounds from the singer, and try not to change the sound from your own, it must sound exactly the way the singer pronounces. So El Shaddai, die, die, so you say die, then you come to the keyboard, you start from your left hand side from C. Die, you're looking for a sound that will sound die, so you do die for a start. You can just touch it three times each die, 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 die. So this is die. After you got in the key, then you can now hold the chord of that key die, and I will raise and lift you high. I'll show you that. That's the first way. Now sometimes you may have to run through to you get to the and to, to you get to B. Sometimes when you get to B and you have still not gotten it, you can continue like I oh, shall die. So if I do one, one, two, three times, die, and I, I'm still feeling I've not gotten it, die. You can continue, die, die, die. I shall die. So that's how you get it. Now you can even do something crazy. After you count forward, I want to die. You're looking for die, so you die. You go forward. If you've not gotten it, you, you can still move. When you get to B, you can now start counting down too. But just know that instead of stressing yourself counting from one key here to another long octave, just know that. A key, any key somebody is singing, if somebody is singing, they must fall under the 12 key. So within these 12 key, yeah, you must surely find the person's key if you're paying attention. 
you understand? So that's one way you can actually get the key of a singer very fast. Now, um, this is going to take some time. You have to keep rehearsing. You have to keep rehearsing. Um, at the point, you get so used to it that it becomes very, very easy for you. I can find the key practically in two seconds. I can find the key practically before the singer sings. So first thing first, you listen to the singer. <coughs> you listen to the singer very well. And listen, what is the end point of that song? And I will praise and lift you up. Okay, you are the pillar that throws my life. Then it's a master Jesus, you are the pillar that throws my life. So you're looking for life, life, life. You now start from C. Life, 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 life. Now when you get the key that sounds like that, you try to hold the chord first. When you hold the chord one, like I told you, most songs end, that takes us back to most songs end in chord one or chord eight. So that's why the key is always on your chord one. So when you hold your chord one, then you can start playing. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that I'm trying not to play too complex because um, this is a very foundational lesson. So the next thing you have to do is uh, when you want to look for a key, very fast when the singer is singing try to make sure you memorize and another thing you can do is you can sing the song faster because if, you know you begin to ask questions like how do i look at the sing okay somebody singing a song how long do i have to wait till the singer sing to the last part of the song where and i know that okay the last part of this song is resting on your chord one and before i start looking for the key no you can actually sing the song fast in your mind, for example, if the singer sings, You are the pillar that holds my now, as the singer is singing small, small, you are the pillar that in your mind, they've already gone to the end part. So, it means this song ends, You are the pillar that holds my life. So, even before the singer gets to the second part of the song, you've already known how the sound is going to be, and you start memorizing very simply. Ancient of days are so you just know that you will never change that at the end of the song. And that is how you find it. That third way you can actually find the key of the singer. Now you begin to ask, okay, what if you don't know the song? How are you going to find the key? What if you don't know the song that the singer is singing? It's very simple. Now when the singer is singing, you look for this the part of the song that rests on chord one. How do you know this part of the song that rests on chord one? It's either you wait for the singer to end, then you pick the last note of the end of the song, or in between the song, you listen very well and do what you want to do. Like for example, now, let's say I'm singing a strange song. You are all I do. You know that I wanna know today. As I as I do today, I use my music here and I know that today is the ending part of the song. Because the ending part of the song is where the singer stops. Then you notice if the singer is going to repeat from the beginning. So when I say, today you are uh, So I've now known that today is the last part of that song. So what I do is, and I memorize today, why the singer is singing. Today, then remember the same thing. Today. So today. If you can't play all keys, you can actually use your transpose, you know. You can use your transpose to do what you want to do to switch key. For example, if I'm on F and uh, actually uh, and the key is to I can just go to plus three. To very simple. So you're not limited on uh, use your transpose on any key you want to use on any on any key. So that is how you do on a strange song which is not held. Okay, how do you find a singer? This is totally different from finding a progression. Finding a progression is a different material. This is how to find the key first. You know, because you have to find the key of the singer before you think of looking for progression. So without finding the key, so when you know, nah, 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 today, then you now start thinking of how do you now know the progression. So I have, I'm, uh, I have another video material on how to find the progression, uh, you know, that the singer is singing, you know, on any song. So. These are very simple ways for you to find a key. Any key the singer is in, these are very simple. Now, if you master this and you're not, you, you don't want to do 
uh, if you don't want to do three times because of time, you can only do once. You can just touch one. Always move ascending order. Now, when you get to B, you can now start descending order from B. Now, the most important thing is that you must pay attention to the right notation. Don't change the sound on your own. Make sure you memorize the same way the singer pronounces it because you're finding the key of the singer and the singer is not looking for your key. So if you change the, the sound, maybe if I say, um, beautiful girl, if, uh, glorious girl, that bow before your throne. So I did throne, but you will not go and change the key to throne. You see, you're going to miss it. When you find the key, you go and look for something and that will be off key. So bow before your throne. So you pick that throne and try to focus. It's something that you have to be focused. Throne. Very simple. So you understand. So this is just about how to find a key. There's no magic about it. Now remember, finding the key and becoming perfect with it takes time. So it's not to get, you know, a fast. Uh, it's not to get fast something, you know, you have to dedicate your time and practice. Now, if one exercise you have to do is, you look for like 50 songs. Yeah, let's start with 50 songs first. When I started practicing how to find key, I do 200 songs in a week. So you look for like 50 songs. You don't need to download those songs, just go to Audio Mac. It doesn't have to be songs you know. It's for gospel songs, secular songs, any of them. Just play the song and you find your key. Very simple. Play the song and you find your key. You know, and another thing again you can use to find a key of any piece or any song is that within the song, within the song, the person is singing. Like I said, if you don't, you, you can pick out where the song is going to fall and where the song is going to land on your chord one. Now, how do you know if the song is on your chord one? It's if the pitch is normal. If the pitch is going high, it means the person is going to chord 4. If the pitch is coming down, it means the person is coming to chord 5. For example, let me pick a very strange song. I will just forge this song. And I, and you, and you, and you, we. So if I say, and you, you see there's a stress. So the stress is sharp there. It means I'm going high. That should be chord 4. And you, we you see we is coming down it means it's called five we no so you see no is normal so that should be called one so let's look for the chord no 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 When the pitch is going very high, there's every tendency that it is a chord 4. And when the pitch is coming down, it means it's a chord 5. Then when the pitch is normal, it's chord 1. So in between the song, you just look at the song. Maybe the song, even if the singer has not gotten to the end part of the song, where you pick out the last word of the song, you can actually look at the sequence of the song and just look for a note or a particular word that is not high, that is not low, and pick out the key and find the key. Very simple. For example, I want to take a very long verse. And then you are all I know today. For life will be the one I will say to thee. And I will never know this is what. So if you see, I did today, which is indicating. It's still in my verse, I've not ended the song, but today, and I will see you. Why I'm still looking for today, that's the one I picked. And I will see you today. So, why me? I'm looking for two today. So, and I will see you I've gotten it to C sharp. And I will see you That's how you, but this one is a really bit 
more crazy. You know, it's a mind game. It's more crazy. The easiest way is to wait for the ending part of the song. The ending part of the song. Now, this is how it happens. To be the musical ear to do this, you must get songs. You must get so many songs. You must get songs. Do you have any song on your phone? Okay, so just play a song. Okay, so now I'm going to play this song and I'm going to find the key just immediately. Now, if you see, this song is a very long song, but then I don't have to wait. You see, I'm going to show you now. So I got ready. So see, forget me, that's called five. That's called one. Cause five. Cause five. So this is a very simple thing. Is 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 no he he he. So we are looking for he 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 he. So there are too many cause one I can pick out from this. Even where I've not gotten to the end of the song, very simple. So this key is easy. You see? This is called one. I'm just hearing this song for the first time. You see, this, the vocal line is relaxed. So this is called one. Then let's implement now. Cut four. It's cut four. Cut one. Cut five. It's in cut two. This is like it's a very simple method of how you can do it. I'm just using one hand so to just show you. So once you see that the pitch in between the song, even if you don't wait, want to wait to the end. I mean, let me try and play another song. Sorry, I'm trying to look for. Okay, let me use. Let me use file. So you see now this one just say ah hey you can make it go. Now this. Ah hey you can make it go. Do so you're looking for. So when you start looking. So this is cost. This is six. This is Kisi. This is like the seventh way you can actually just find the key, even if a person is singing. Now, another way you can do it is that even when the song is playing, you can actually press the keys and you will notice that there's a key associating itself with the sound of the song. For example, <laughs> Let me take another song. Hey, so, so this one now, I'm not picking anything like chord one or chord or I'm not picking any 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 chord the singer is calling. I'm just playing. I'm just playing around my key, and I will find out that there's a key associating itself with this song. Which is key E. Very simple. So this one is um, is a little bit more advanced, you understand, but these are how the different ways you can actually uh, put yourself together and get the key of the song. But the secret about it is that I need to develop a music here. I've developed a very good music here. That's why it doesn't take me time. Less than a second, I can get the key. If you're able to find a key for 50 songs or for five songs, you automatically develop a music here. And that music here increases your ear by 40%. If you keep doing it, if you do 40, 80 songs, 
at a point you can even I can just listen to a song and I'll say okay this song is up to D. You have this music here that will be open wide and you'll be able to know which key a song falls in. Or even if you can't tell it automatically, once you turn the keyboard, you just know that the key falls in very simple. So that is the way you can actually find the key of any song of any singer and any lady. So make sure you watch this material on how to know the progression used by any singer and any song. Very interesting material that actually goes aligned with this. Thank you.